Hello guys, this is the 2023 Nissan Pathfinder Rock Creek. There is five trims you can choose from. There is the S, SV, SL, Rock Creek, and the Platinum. The Platinum is the highest trim. And this trim is the off-roady trim that you could buy in the Pathfinder lineup. It is finished in bolder gray, but does have the two tones. So basically bolder gray and black. I love the way how this thing looks like. It does have nice, aggressive, all-terrain tires and overall this SUV looks very good today we're gonna be taking it on a POV test drive and see how this off-roady Pathfinder will drive so let's go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how it does Alright, so here is the interior of this 2023 Nissan Pathfinder Rock Creek. So this is the off-road version or the off-road trim of the Pathfinder. And it does look very nice from the outside. I really love the Open Country all-terrain tires. And I really like the rims. Uh, they are the beadlock um, design. And uh, yeah, overall, such a beautiful SUV from the outside. I really like the two-tone, the black with the bolder gray, and the inside looks very good. There's an eight-inch screen that looks very nice. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and uh, overall, this SUV is nice and spacious, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how it does. Before we do that, let me go ahead and show you the backup camera. It does have a front camera, which is nice and it does have the 360, so there's uh, cameras underneath the mirrors for the 360 monitor view. And then there is the normal backup camera. The normal backup camera resolution is good. Uh, let me see if I could actually change the mode so you could see the rims. Backup camera resolution is very good. Definitely better than the other Nissan uh, products. I just finished reviewing the 2023 Nissan Altima and the backup camera did not look that good. Here is the front camera, by the way. I really hope you guys could see that. But let's go ahead and take this Pathfinder on a test drive and see how it does. We're gonna go ahead and hop on the highway and see how this Rock Creek Pathfinder will do. Very smooth and uh, very comfortable. I did drive this Pathfinder for about a few minutes before I take it on a test drive and I was actually very impressed. It is nice and quiet in here. It is in sport mode. does have a little bit of torque steer. Brakes are very nice and confident. A tiny bit of body lean, but honestly, this thing feels very nice and confident around turns, even though this is an off-roady Pathfinder. So, very confident, nice and quiet, and as I said, it is nice and spacious inside. I'm definitely gonna be talking about those tires because they do have a little bit of noise to them. This nine speed automatic transmission is not really my favorite. All right, so under the hood, there is a 3.5 naturally aspirated V6. It is connected to a nine speed automatic transmission. This nine speed automatic transmission isn't my favorite. It is very slow. 
even using the paddle shifters it takes forever to downshift and upshift i know this is a family suv and i'm glad that there is some paddle shifters here but i really wish that this transmission was a little bit quicker anyways guys this engine produces 295 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque good amount of power but again this transmission just takes forever to downshifts and it just makes this engine feel a little bit lazy even though this engine is powerful it has a good amount of horsepower and torque but not a big fan of this nine speed automatic transmission suspension setup is very good it is nice and comfortable handles very good it does have the off-road suspension so it's supposed to be better off-roading if you guys are curious about the ground clearance the ground clearance is 7.7 .7. so 7.7 .7 inches of ground clearance on this off-roady pathfinder rock creek So, as I said, handling is very good in this Pathfinder. Brakes are extremely good. They're very nice and touchy. So, I definitely like that. So, Nissan did a great job with the brakes on this Pathfinder. Um, the seats are nice and comfortable. Seeing out of this SUV is perfect. And uh, overall, I think it is a beautiful SUV. It does have a beautiful 3.5 V6 sounds good it is nice and responsive let's go ahead and do another acceleration right here let's go ahead and put this suv in sport mode beautiful confident this thing is nice and spacious a ton of room in the back even with the third row up with the third row down there is a ton of space the opening is nice and big second row is nice and spacious there's a lot of leg room and head room and this is seriously such a beautiful family SUV and of course you could take it off-roading windows are nice and big which I really really like the, the mirrors the side mirrors are very big i could literally see everything just by looking at the side mirrors and um, this rock creek has all the nice safety features emergency braking blind spot monitoring system lane keeping assist steering assist adaptive cruise control emergency braking rear cross traffic it does have the 360 so it has basically every single safety feature so let's go ahead and talk about the tires the tires are uh, called open country they are all-terrain uh, tires and they're not very noisy but you could definitely hear them they're not obnoxious but I could definitely hear them let's go ahead and uh, try to do 60 70 miles per hour and see how they are They honestly feel very smooth a little bit of noise but honestly if you have your music on turned on I don't think you'll be able to hear the sound doing 65 miles per hour I think it's I think those tires are perfect they're nice and aggressive very good for off-roading and yeah I'm truly impressed so the noise is there but they're not very very loud which I like let's go ahead and try the safety features steering assist is right here so it is on now lane keeping assist just kicked in cruise control is active adaptive cruise control is active and steering assist is active so basically the SUV is driving by itself I could increase the temperature uh, the uh, not the temperature I could increase the speed temperature is can be increased from there and I just love the fact that it has 
so many safety features. I love the way how the gear shifter looks like. It does have heated seats, three stages. The, the engine start stop is located in a very good place. The screen has a really nice design to it. Uh, the system will give you a message every once in a while telling you you basically have to pay attention because uh, just to make sure that you're not um, it gives you a message every once in a while to basically tell you to pay attention if you're not but I really wish it was a little bit longer so every anywhere between 5 to 10 seconds it will give you that message telling you uh, pay attention or touch the steering wheel so slowing down I could definitely hear the tires a uh, little bit more um, beautiful screen this is very nice and soft I love the orange stitching and uh, does say Rock Creek right here with Pathfinder inside there is a ton of space and uh, drive modes are right here engine shut off so when you come to complete stop the engine will turn off e-brake brake hold the shifter looks amazing 112 volt inside one USB type C one USB type A um, steering wheel has a beautiful design wrapped in leather and has that flat bottom design some blacked out chrome beautiful looking buttons gauges look good there's a seven inch screen visibility is good seeing out of the back is perfect and the seating position is amazing as I said windows are nice and big um, this um, off-road pathfinder off roady pathfinder does not have a panoramic sunroof or a standard size sunroof I really wish it did I think that's fine this is soft soft and uh, this SUV is seriously amazing if you guys are curious about the uh, size of those rims they are 265 60 18 and as I said uh, those rims have the bead lock uh, design good looking SUV from the outside I really love the roof rack on this Pathfinder Again, guys, this transmission is very slow. I think this is the only thing that I don't like about this Pathfinder. And maybe small tiny things that I don't like about this Pathfinder is the turn signal indicators in the front. They are halogen. I really wish they were LED. And uh, even the tail lights. The tail lights are LED, but the turn signal indicators and the reverse they are halogen. I really wish that Nissan changes this very soon. All windows are automatic up and down. Brightness control with the steering assist button down there. And uh, as I showed you guys that have the 360 camera. It looks amazing. Steering wheel is not extremely light, but it is nice and light around parking lots and around small tight small places. I'm gonna go ahead and test the turning radius on this Pathfinder. I'm pretty sure the turning radius is very important because it is an off-road SUV and having a good turning radius doing off-road is definitely important. As I told you guys, the handling is very good. So let's go ahead and see how many modes. There is tow mode, sport, eco, auto, snow, mud, and rut. The turning radius is extremely good in this Pathfinder. Backup camera looks good. And I am seriously impressed with the turning radius in this Pathfinder. So, definitely good and this 3.5 v6 just sounds good so slowing down I could definitely hear the tires the tires have a little bit of a louder sound when you come to a complete stop beautiful massive cup holders there is a storage place right here to put a key or some coins and uh, there is some halogen lights, SOS, and uh, glasses holder, nice and big. The seeing out of the back is good. I could technically drop the back rests down to be able to see more, but there is a ton of space. And uh, there's two cup holders back there with a really nice deep 
storage place. I'm gonna go ahead and do an acceleration here and see how the um, the all-wheel drive system will do. So we are at a dead stop. I'm gonna be taking a right turn and test the all-wheel drive uh, system in this Pathfinder. This trim looks pretty good. Not flashy, nothing crazy, just gray with a little bit of a design. Mostly everything right here inside is finished in gloss black. <laughs> so this nine speed automatic transmission shifts quick when it's under load. So when driving this Pathfinder, a little bit aggressive, it will it is nice and responsive. Using the paddle shifters, it's very lazy. It takes forever to um, downshift and upshift. By the way, the front wheels were spinning and that's expected. It was uphill and I was taking a right turn and this SUV is heavy. It does have 270 pound feet of torque, which is good enough to make the wheels uh, spin. If you guys curious about the fuel economy numbers, the fuel economy numbers are not that impressive, but I think that's fine because it's a off-roady um, SUV. Um, the fuel economy numbers are uh, 20 in the city, 23 highway, and 21 combined. So I am truly impressed with this Pathfinder, and the price on this Pathfinder is 45,000, which I think honestly isn't that bad because you are getting a ton of features. It is a three row SUV and uh, it is off-road capable. It does have 7.7 .7 inches of ground clearance. It does have a beautiful eight inch screen. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, all the nice safety features. I really wish it had cold seats, but I think that's completely fine. And uh, a lot of storage places, which I like. Nice soft materials. This thing feels well put together. Definitely nice. The only thing I don't like is this nine speed automatic transmission. I really wish that Nissan fixes this eight speed automatic transmission. Nissan is not really well known for their transmissions. So I think they should work a little bit hard uh, on their transmissions. But other than that, this thing is seriously impress impressive. And I did not, I did not expect it to drive this good. So good job Nissan. This is a beautiful SUV and I'm pretty sure it is very good off-roading especially with those tires. I really wish I can take it off-roading to test it, but too bad this is a <laughs> dealership SUV. So, truly impressed. I really like it. Has a ton of space, three-row SUV, a lot of features, has all the safety features. This thing drives by itself, handles amazing, and um, it looks beautiful from the outside, especially with this boulder gray. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this POV test drive of this 2023 Nissan Pathfinder Rock Creek. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see JC here at Napoli Nissan in Milford. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.